sneak in his bag. Yeah, tonight we have another destroyer for you. This is Rossa R10. Yeah. The KDE fresh look. Yeah, fresh, exciting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Not the fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay. And I was really surprised actually. It's a really, really nice and clean desktop, even when you open all the stuff up. Now, when I initially hit the menu bar, I went, oh, I'm back in GNOME. But obviously, I'm not. Okay, it's KDE. And I'm going to show you a quick look round anyway while we're here. Okay, this is the desktop you get. Nice and bright. You can change the desktop backgrounds if you so wish to do so. Being KDE, you get all your widgety stuff. Change bars, height and screen edges, etc. Same up here in the edge. Can you see? Folder settings, etc., etc., etc. I'm not going to put any stuff on here tonight. Cause I'm just going to show you what it looks like just in case you haven't downloaded it. I think it's around about a two gig download, so it's not too bad. I've seen worse, but that way, I've seen a lot worse. Time and date, your Ethernet connection or your wireless connection, your pasty thing, sound. And here you've got configure your desktop and stack your downloads, or stack folder. So we go to configure your desktop, we'll quickly open it up. It's the usual KDE thing. Nice, bright, and clean. Okay, so that's okay. I like that. I'm liking it. Yeah, nice and bright. I like, yeah. Firefox is your default web browser. Okay. LibreOffice Writer is one of your default writing programs. Obviously, you can get Abbey Word if you want to, or any other suite that you so wish to use. And over here, we have our Dolphin File Manager. So I've opened them up for you. You can quickly see it's nice and precise. I mean, I like, I like, it's reasonably fast as well. So we'll go back to the menu. Okay, this is the main menu. On your welcome screen, these are the ones I've used up here already. Okay, just checking it out, basically. Just checking it out. I know. So I've used install and remove software and LibreOffice Writer, probe hardware, I have a good probing, you know me. KS System Guard, for looking at your system. So we'll open it up for you, so you can have a look. Master, I was going to have a drinkage, but it went too fast for me. Okay. Hmm. I was only using 600 meg roughly of my system memory. I'm quite happy with that. Are you? Yeah. Very good for this sort of system, I thought. So yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, back to the first one again. So we'll go to applications, which is the second bar on the bottom here. Still looks gnomish though, doesn't it? But it's bigger. But I remember using this a while ago with this desktop, and I thought, oh, that's a bit different, isn't it? Nice and clean and in your face, basically. Up here you get Office. Okay, so all your Office apps are here. So the full LibreOffice suite and Ocular, which is all right, isn't it? Then we've got Tools. I'll open that up for you. Configure your desktops there, your file manager, network stuff, service configuration, your printer settings, Rossa Freeze, okay, this is something, so if you're going to play around with your system, you can freeze the system, it probably just makes a restore point in Windows terms, and you can have a play, and if it goes wrong, you're fine. File Light is another one, if you your disk uses information, okay, okay, Snapshot, Arc is here as well, a USB formatter, or format your USB drives, Partition Manager, a Karufpa, so desktop sharing of course, and your Pulse Audio Volume Controls, and KRDC remote control with VNC basically. End of the day, okay. So that's pretty good. You get a few games. Audacity as standard, okay. Chromium web browser as standard. Clementine, I do like that one. You know that's my fave Clementine. Yeah, that's nice. Easy tag, okay. To edit the meter data details of your MP3 files or your music files basically. Firefox and the one here. Gimpage, we'll open Gimpage up, see how fast he comes along. I will get a bit of crinkly on this one. Oh, no, no, I won't, will I? Oh no. And it fills the screen as so. Okay. In this uh, release, you also get the latest NVIDIA drivers. So if you've got a nice 1080 going down, it will be there for you. Okay. Back to applications again. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. K3B for your burning utility. Camoso for your camera. K Write. K Torrent. K Torrent. Sol. Color Paint. K Find. Caden Live, of course. Oh, yeah. The latest version. And you also get a standard, the Rossa Image Writer. Now, this has been around for ages and ages and ages. What's my password? There we go. Oh, I remember seeing it in a magazine a while ago. <clears throat> That's a really good USB image writer at the end of the day. A bit like HR and discs. You can do the same thing at the end of the day. That's what it says on the tin. I oh, know. Great. Super. Nearly finished now. Okay. I'm not going to make this video too long. You get a media player, an installer for Skype, which works perfectly on Linux, as you know. Viber install. What is Viber? It's obviously another VOIP service. So, okay. And Xane for your scanning. And over to time frame, if we go to here, just tell you what your documents, what you're doing, and social networking sites to log into. 
See, I know that one's Facebook, but I don't know what B is. What's B? That's Oh, and there's some updates available, as you can see. It just popped up. Super. Okay, that's the basic look of it, really. So I'm just going to open the browser. I won't update the system just yet. I'll open up our browser, and just to show you, nice and quick. Okay, bear in mind, it's a Russian developed thing from Mandriva. Mandrake? I think Mandriva. It was forked from quite a while ago. Yeah, it's been going quite a while. Go to Downloads, and you'll see what we got here. Please select your download. Bloody blah. KDE4 Plasma 5. There is also, for this one here, see, on the other page I'd open, you also got the choice of LXQT and GNOME, okay? On this page here, it's only showing two KDEs. Hmm, interesting. I'll look into that. But just download it 32 or 64 bits. So it doesn't matter if your machine's a little bit older, but obviously it's going to run a bit more sluggishly, sluggishly. You know what I mean, of course. So if you want to say different, you want to give it a go, you may like it, you may want to make it full time. Yeah, you may want to. It looks really super and works nice too. One of those slicky smoothy ones again. I'm doing quite a few of them recently, aren't I? Okay, next one you'll probably see from me might be Open Suze, I think we're going to do tomorrow or the day after. And that's a similar sort of distro, but we'll see the differences when we get there. So Rossa R10, really nice. What more can I say? Except just KDE. Okay. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.